Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ready Steady Play, where we're playing dickheads in a hole. <laughs> that cut that sounds really filthy. But, <laughs> what I meant was, uh, was <laughs> wankers in a bunker. Oh no, that no, sounds no, terrible too. Oss is in a hole. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. There's no good way of putting this. We're playing, we're playing uh, jerks in a hole. No. <laughs> Double entendre, you've ruined everything! <laughs> so, Too many. Uh, we are, in fact, critters in a hole. We're animals... Oh, God, that's still bad. <laughs> We're critters in a bunker. It's critters We're animals below. in the dark. Animals in the dark, yes. Thank you, Michael. During wartime. And uh, I've got still all of the medicine, and Michael has all of the dying. And we're trying to negotiate. <laughs> I'm not winning. Uh, uh, in the negotiation, I mean. <laughs> And uh, what Michael's tell so what I'm going to do actually is I think I'll take two, but if I take two starvation, Michael, I'm just going to be super tempted to eat this food. Oh, I see. Yeah. See, I could take two starvation to get a supply drop, but then I'm going to have a bunch of starvation cards in addition to all the poison and bleed in my hand here. Mm -hmm. um, in a way, I quite like to just eat the food anyway to get rid of the starvation. Yeah. I know, I'm such a wanker. You are a wanker. I mean, I could just In a hole. consume both of these cards and they'd pretty much just set me up perfectly for well, the rest of the game. Well, I could. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't really thought of the semi-co-op part of this game, have you really? <laughs> yeah, I haven't killed you. Yeah, you have. Uh, directly. Yeah. <laughs> By not helping. Um, I could be nice and um, do that one of my actions to... Uh, uh, because I will have to take starvation in order to heal your, um, so you can get rid of radiation. Yeah, but if, well, I don't have any radiation anymore. I got rid of it all. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's uh, why I took the bleed of, damage. That kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> See, the only thing you've got that can help me now, really, is, is the bleed damage. Is the bleed card in your hand, mm. which I can't use because it's in your hand. Well, if I put it back again. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a whole. But if I take the bleed damage, then I'm not. Well, I, I'll tell you what. So you, I don't, will, you don't want to trust me then. <laughs> I will trade you the food for the bleed damage card. Seems legit. So now what I have to do somehow is get another card in my hand so I can return this to the shelf. Uh, right? Because my first action was just to use a card on the shelf. Yes. So what I'll do, I guess, is I'll take two starvation. This is such suicide. Why am I doing this? Because you're nice. <laughs> uh, and I'll draw another supply card. From the discard pile here. Watch, it's going to be super, super good. You're like, no, this is for me. <laughs> well, I'm putting the food back for you. No, no, what I mean is, like, if you picked a really, really good card, you'd be like, nah, I've changed my mind. This is really great. I'm playing this card. <laughs> I can't play it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Instead of putting the food back. Mm -hmm. Right. Seriously. It's possible. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Huh. Uh huh. It is useful for me. But uh, it's basically a worse car version of the food card. Alright, okay. There you go. That's your food. Okay. I'll put it back. Aren't you nice? Um, draw <laughs> damage. Drawing damage. I've been very good to you. I've picked all the good ones. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Alright, so now I'm poisoned. But then all the poisons go. And that's the that's a lot of them. Yeah, which just re increases my chances of taking bleed damage. <laughs> well, when I, I put this card back, you'll be able to pick it up, won't you? We'll see. Uh, okay, so my first action that I'm going to do is do one of these to look at those three. Okay. Oh, look, there's a can of food here. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, please stop moaning. <laughs> God, shut up that whingy bat. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to have a look at this. Okay. So, I'm going to, as my um, second action is, <laughs> guess what I'm going to do? Mm. I'm going to eat the food. <laughs> Good idea. So. You should save it for your last action, though, in case you get more starvation cards. 
Unless you've already got three, in which case it doesn't matter. I've already got three. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so and that, that gets rid of three. Yep. Um, that gets rid of my damage here. I get two of these. Um, that goes in the discard pile. And um, I'm going to uh, keep these two and put these two back. The one that you need is this one. That one? Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Okay. So I'm not going to do anything else. <laughs> so you might as well just discard those. <laughs> Pick a card. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, now we decide whether or not we're going outside. True. <sighs> so this could be, actually, the end of the game. Potentially. It could also be a big flipping disaster. True. Now, have you risked it? Well, that's the question, isn't it? That's the question on everybody's mind. Mm -hmm. You should have used the radio or whatever to find out what it is. Then we could have both known and won together or stayed safe together. Now we both uh, potentially have to risk ourselves for potentially nothing. My jacket won't save me here. No. My jacket is worthless now. I only keep it on because it reminds me of the good times. Is it? Mm -hmm. Better times? <laughs> okay. I'm doing this. Good. <laughs> All right, interesting. Oh, you go up every time. Oh, I won. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is like a five minute episode. <laughs> so the war is over. The war is over. <laughs> Fox wins. I totally. That was, uh, that was huge. Should have gone. Like, no. I was like, oh, is that it? <laughs> that was so anti. Oh wow. Oh wow. These are like fifty. Oh yeah, of course they're fifty fifty because the uh, that's why they're like that on the back. Ah. See, there's four cards. Yes. So should have like, gone for it. Yeah, you definitely should have because you didn't even have two damage. Yeah. Lazy. I, lazy I, I, I locked him in the bunker. <laughs> I was like, you've got your tin of food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be happy the new world has no space for alcoholics <laughs> it's like, yeah um, it's like, I was hanging out on, on to uh, this med kit for the whole game why are we holding on to it for the whole game because I was waiting it in case I needed it to save my life and you wouldn't give me the food and then you got that well yeah that was the last thing I picked up though such selfish fox <laughs> And that's you, my fox with. Uh, <laughs> well, but in, but in the end, it wasn't um, my selfishness that killed you. It was your own hubris. Mm. Or not hubris, but cowardice. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I should have gone for it. But never mind. Oh, well. It mm -hmm. felt... Because that card was face down, it felt like an enormous risk. I mean, can you imagine if that had been bleed or poison? Yeah. And that had been bleed, it would have just been like... Boom, so much damage. Yeah. And then that, yeah, exactly, because those both could have been bleed. And that would have been yeah. pretty rubbish. Or poison and bleed. I mean, it was, I guess, uh, it was a 33% chance this was yeah. good. Because there's only two of these purple ones, ones yeah. Uh, well, I was going to say, uh, because you, you kind of know all of the four three cards and you kind of know all of the four one cards mm -hmm. but it's a pretty much 50-50 guess of what these two twos are, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. So, as I say, that is very unlikely. Well, it was a 25% chance that was going to be that. So Well, 33 because we already had one of the purples eliminated. Very true. So we knew it was either a bleed, a poison, mm -hmm. or a yeah. supply. So, very lucky. I should have gone out the turn before. Mm -hmm. I'd have got extra two extra supplies and for no cost. Two? Was it two? Just one. Oh, just one. one. Just one. <laughs> but yeah. Well done, you. Well done, Fox. Cutting Fox wins the day. Mm -hmm. So that's that's uh, that's critters below. Mm. I mean, delving into this topic of sort of semi co-op, mm. like it's an interesting idea. I like. 
I, I get why it makes people sort of feel uncomfortable mm. because in order to, because it's basically offering you up on a plate, the opportunity to choose to be a dickhead. Yes. I feel like you had all the opportunities to choose to be a dickhead and I had zero because you, when we played <laughs> this through before, I had all the good cards and now we're playing this go. You had all the good cards. <laughs> You did. You literally had all the good cards because you were able to get rid of um, your... Um, no, but I you mean, did. there was a few... Okay, I did have good cards. <laughs> Thank you. But there was also a few opportunities where you could have drawn cards out of here that would have put me in serious trouble. Um, and instead I got a good draw. And that's... That's, that's I mean, part that's, of that, the that's sort of the, Well, that's the whole real sort of player function in this game. What you're doing is trying is is essentially controlling the configuration of this deck. If it becomes overly populated with damage cards especially lots of different kinds of damage cards mm. then you're in really bad way yeah cause... so keeping it sort of topped up with blue and green cards is the way you survive mm -hmm. um and uh you know getting one or two cards of a specific color is really dangerous because then you might take a damage and only take a couple of cards out of the deck mm -hmm. i yeah uh, i feel your you also had a, a bit of a, a good advantage with having the fox. I believe he's definitely the best character in the game. And that you were able to utilise his ability. Although you kept forgetting it, to be fair. No, but, I didn't um, use it that often. Mm -hmm. We only played, what, like four rounds and I used it twice? Five Maybe rounds. Oh, four rounds. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. I used it two or three times. But uh, I used it one time just to put a card back on the shelf for you. Dude. I wasn't going to use it. But you picked up a good card... Yeah, but I mean, you know, that's I, I that's luck though. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't think his ability but, could is is specifically that great because you could pick up something bad. Yeah, you could. Well, you could just pick up a landmine, um, or you could pick up something that's not really useful to you. Mm. I think this is this is good, but I don't think it's great because what is good is that you don't you get one less. Um, starvation in your hand but the ability is already there so i don't think it mm. gives it doesn't add much interest to the play yeah that's true i think it must it, it must be quite difficult to find sort of character abilities within this limited mechanics set of mechanics that um that uh you know add a lot, a lot of new and interesting things that are balanced mm -hmm. um i think the fox's ability is very good but I think what's especially good about the fox's ability is it's the only it's one of the few abilities that really genuinely benefits you mm. right most of the other abilities benefit another player or um, benefit the whole group mm -hmm. and so um, you know you could leverage those in a diplomatic way mm -hmm. um, but it may not necessarily be you know, you, the people could stab you in the back or whatever once they've got what they wanted. Mm -hmm. um, you'd have to be sort of cutthroat diplomacy, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just got a bunch of... I got really lucky with those cards there. But in the end, it wasn't the good or bad cards that lost mm -hmm. you the game. No, it was the low... You, like... It was simply, uh, I don't know, bat laziness. Whether, <laughs> yeah. You're so used to staying indoors, you just decide to keep staying indoors. It's, uh, it was, you, again, luck. You were lucky that that was... The thirty-three percent. No, no, it doesn't matter. It didn't. Ma it literally mattered nothing what this was. If I'd taken a bunch of poison cards there, I still would have won. No, exactly. This is what mattered. Yes, exactly. That you were lucky that that was because that we had four opportunities. Well, no, it's fifty-fifty, isn't it? So there was. Uh, I've just gone for it. <laughs> yeah, but my, I, I, I suspect that uh, you probably didn't quite grasp the likelihood of that coming up. No. <laughs> That's Generally, it. my problem with playing games. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't grasp it. In general. <laughs> That's why I always lose. Nursing a common theme on this channel. <laughs> but at least you lose gracefully, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so, uh, of course would, I do. <laughs> would, you, would you play it again? Um, I mean, sure. Do you of think, course I would. Yeah, um, it's not so bad that you're like, screw it, I don't want to play this anymore. I kind of think, though, that... 30 to 60 minutes. I don't think it's got that much replayability, though. 
Mm -hmm. Once you kind of know... The only real random bit are these two cards on the journey. Yeah. Because you know all these four, and you'll know all these four. And because you, when you decide to go out, it automatically releases all of these. Um, then it's you can sort of like guess what this one is then going to be. Mm -hmm. So you can work out whether you want to go outside, whether the kit that you're going to do, and, and things like that. So... Um, I suppose there's lots of options for re replayability, particularly if you're uh, randomly drawing a different character, because um, that will change the whole well, dynamic of the game. And I there's don't know so if it many. It does though. No, I mean, it does a bit. It does a bit. Hmm. And but there's not so a many. Huge no, there's so many different um, item cards. Item cards as well. And that's cool. I like that. There's a lot of different sort of item cards, and they all do different things. There's the gun. You can just shoot another player to do give them five bleed damage. Yeah, I could have done that. See, I was nice. I put that to the bottom of the pile. You, <laughs> you just kept the medicare. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, look at that! Everybody heals a food. What is that? No, that is. Um, yeah, you heal one starvation, mission, and then and someone else heals, heals, heals one starvation. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Friend, I like the friendly cards you see. Uh, poisoned food, more medkits. Who put these cards upside down? <laughs> yeah, who um, would do that? <laughs> yeah, lots of. Uh, there's the helmet. There's the helmet. See, that's there's, good towards the end of the oh, game. Oh, there's a poison mask. That's cool. Oh, that's good. That that would. I still serve think well though that the helmet's the best one. Probably. Maybe towards the end of the game, definitely. Yeah, but well, that's what I mean. Though. That's when it's most important to go outside, though. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It's just straight up poison. And that's just oh, straight right. up a landmine. <laughs> Yeah, that's to screw you up if you're searching for things on the shelf in the dark, I suppose. Yeah. Um, would you play again? Um, yeah, I'd be interested in playing it with more people. Yes, I reckon the dynamic of it all changes if there's a lot more people. A lot yeah. more people trying to fight over things on the shelf. Yeah, I mean, you'd, it would be impossible to track what was on the shelf and stuff like that. That would be interesting to me. Um, I think that... I don't think it's a must-have for my collection. No, I don't think I, I would. I don't think I, I, don't would, think buy I would buy it. No. Um, if if I was, I mean, if someone, if I went around to your, say, your house, and you were like, oh, there's a few people coming around, let's play Critters Below, I'd be like, cool, yeah, all right then, I'll play it with you. Um, but I, at the end of this, I wouldn't then be jumping on the internet and ordering my copy, if that makes sense. Yeah, which you have done with uh, some other games that we've played here mm -hmm. on the channel, so. Yeah. Um, the one other thing I would say is it, it sort of it continues with this um, with this theme uh, that Antler Games have used sort of in Saltlands as well, which is this semi co-op where it's cooperative but it's not cooperative. And in Saltlands, we all decided to win together just because mm. we thought it would be more fun um, and it would perhaps be save us all just sort of sabotaging each other. And I think, you know, I. Th and this does the same kind of thing um, in the sense that you you can implement a full co-op mode in which everybody needs to survive together mm -hmm. and uh, in that mode you also have to all go outside or all not go outside together so you mm -hmm. vote and everyone goes out or no one does um, and then there's a, there's a way to make it more difficult as well as um, I was wearing for that. Understand that the blue tin edition comes with more characters, and oh, really? uh, they have more of a competitive swing as well. Okay. Uh, some Kickstarter exclusives and stuff like that, but we haven't got them to show you, so uh, we can only play what's in the yellow tin, which is the main release. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting thing to me this semi co-op, but I still am not sure about it. It still doesn't feel like. Well, I feel like it puts a lot of pressure on me as a player. Well, you were um, saying like well, the, 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 like the whole thing with giving you the food, right? Well, you were saying at the start, oh, I feel like I would like to win by not being a dickhead because then that would feel like I, it's a hollow victory. And yet mm. you were, you were, you had this proper inner turmoil of whether to give me that food or not. Right, but that, but that's different. You know, there's a difference between withholding the food and shooting you in the face. Right, like I didn't actively fuck you over but I also didn't share all the good cards with you mm -hmm. and that's part of the uh, I mean you could have 
shot me possibly with the gun exactly so i i had the gun actually and that was the card that i put to the bottom of the deck i was like oh okay if we're being semi-cooperative i won't but you also didn't leverage that or tell me about it right you weren't like i've got the gun i'm putting it under the deck no but i went this is a really bad card i will protect it i thought it was like a landmine or something though Um... i didn't realize it was the gun until i was going through these cards at the end of the game and so you could have said i've got this gun i'm putting it away in exchange, you should do something nice for me. Okay. And that would be like a bit more of this sort of like diplomatic table talk. Um, that might have like leveraged me more with the food. Or maybe even if I saw we're playing on that level. Yeah. Like I feel like it's sort of like it's up to the players to establish the level of the diplomacy on which you're playing. And then to kind of have a gentleman's agreement to stick to that level. Really. Mm-hmm. Um, but in that way... Um, you're going to basically be playing to the level of the biggest asshole at the table. Mm -hmm. And, or either trying to drum that asshole out. Maybe everybody just shoots the asshole. I don't know. But uh, it just, it's... Shoot the asshole. I think that's a great game. (laughs) I think think that can be like a really sort of polarizing thing. Like in a way, it feels weird to have that kind of like sort of undefined diplomatic table talk. Which is almost in the vein of diplomacy mm. with this sort of 30 minute to 60 minute light game, card management game, you know? It's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's such an odd mix. And I'm like, you know, well, on the one hand, the most interesting decision was giving up the food in the whole game. Mm-hmm. That was the most interesting thing to do. I really think that if we'd just gone full co op mode, it would have been almost it, it, it would have run the risk of becoming boring yeah because we were just like oh i'll help you now and you can help me you know but on the other hand i think that's what a lot of gaming groups which are groups of friends will lean towards i mean there's certainly some gaming groups where people have their ingrained animosity and that's that's fine mm-hmm. like if you and some other guy are always rivals and you're always trying to dick each other over if that's your established relationship that's absolutely fine i'm not saying there's a problem with that i'm just saying that on the other hand, you can kind of rely on that guy to stab you in the back anyway. So then, I mean, and then you would like it's just alternate it's, your behavior accordingly. Yeah, it's an interesting. It's a very sort of interesting thing relying on these sort of players and the relationships to generate interesting decisions in the game. And I'm still not entirely sure how well it's working here. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it seems to do what it sets out to do but i'm not entirely sure whether i like that in this format yeah the the success that it's no i just feel like you know if uh if you really screwed someone over i mean this game could lead to really high tensions and if you're in a group where people don't know each other that well it could easily ruin a whole gaming night i Mm. think yeah i suppose it depends how petty people are are being yeah it doesn't last very long though that's true but Um, you know some players hold grudges all night long I've seen it I've seen it yeah there can be well gaming is people like winning (laughs) people don't like losing I wouldn't know anything about losing (laughs) you're an idiot (laughs) I was here for trick here that's why I keep getting invited back (laughs) that's why I keep getting invited back because he I think the only game I can remember recently that I've beaten you at was Tales of the Arabian Night, which is completely random. No, you won the practice game of Maple War. Oh, which no one saw. Yeah, which no one saw. <laughs> but uh, I think that's uh, that's where we're at with Critters Below. Um, I believe you can order it from Endless Games website when they make it available, but I know it's not in general sale yet, but it will be soon. Okay. Um, I can't give you more information than that, I'm afraid. But uh, if this is something that's interesting to you, leave a comment below. Let me know. Yeah. Let me know what you think of the semi-co-op mechanics. I'm interested in them. Interested enough in them to see more of it. Yeah. I like games where you're not pitted directly as. I like games where you're not pitted as direct adversaries, but also where um, it can be advantageous to go both ways. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the biggest problem I think is probably that there's the potential for everyone to just kind of win together and then it might feel a bit anticlimactic yeah so if I decided to leave with you that round we, we both, both won. won there's no like tie and then it kind of feels like oh well we both just won yeah 
great. And then you spent the whole like, oh, that would yeah, be great. <laughs> maybe that's the problem with the sort of the semi co op thing. It feels like sort of all like it could potentially be a bit purposeless. Yeah. But then, do you not feel some ni- niceness? Is yay, we, we all got out together. together. <laughs> well, I don't feel any satisfaction in the fact that you lost, mm. and I won. Because I feel like I didn't do anything to really... In fact, if anything, I tried to help you with it, and then I failed at that. <laughs> and that makes me feel bad. I, would get, I wound up giving you the food, and you lost anyway. And it's well, like, oh, maybe I should have done more to help him. <laughs> so, interesting, yeah. Interesting. Just we'll, the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> well, we'll be back tomorrow with something else. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you later, guys. <laughs>